So today we're going to do something that you wouldn't find in a storybook. It's called a glossary. And I've got a non-fiction book here and I've got a glossary at the back. And it contains words that you might not, if, you, if, if this was a book you were reading, you might not understand because it's only about or mainly about whatever the title is. So these words are all about bears. So to start with, we need to think of some words that are to do with bears that we might like to put in our glossary. So I'm thinking of... So that's one word that I need to think about. I might think about den, because a den is where a bear would live, but not all animals live in a den. So I'm going to use den. And I'm writing them on little pieces of paper so that I can move them around. And you'll find out why in a minute. Uh, so maybe fur, that might be a nice one to do, or claws. Claws is a good one. Claws. <sighs> or yawn at dawn again. Claws. Remember, from a W, you've got a horizontal join. Claws. And I'll do one more because I've got a piece of paper. Um, let's have a think. Let's do... Um, Let's do fur, 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 uh, that's a set three sound, uh, that sort. So I've got these three words and I'm going to try putting them in alphabetical order. So I haven't got anything beginning with an a ah or a b, but I've got a curly k, so that would be the next one. So I'll get my blue tack. I should stick it on. Okay, so that will be claws and A, B, C, D. And I know you can all sing your alphabet, so you can go A, B, C, D, E, F. Oh, I've got F as well. F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Oh, and there's my P. So I've put them in alphabetical order. It helps so that you can find them if you're looking in your glossary. So I'm going to do, I'm going to do pause actually, but <laughs> you could, you need to start with your first one. So to start with, you would write claws. Oh, let's do claws because then we'll know, won't we? So we need to have a title at the top. So we're going to write glossary. Glossary. Quite a long word and you're not allowed to take your pen off the paper until you've finished it. And remember, it's a capital letter and this is a tall letter, all the others are shorter and this is a long letter so it goes down below if you've got a line, but definitely below the letters. So I'm going to write clause. Clause. And I'm going to put a little line before I write what claws are. And in my book here, it says they're spikes on the bear's paws, which is what they are, aren't they? They're at the end. So I'm going to write um, uh, what are claws? So the question is, what are claws? Claws are like fingernails, I'm going to write finger nails and Digging.
full stop. Now you might just like to write, claws are like fingernails, or claws are the spikes on the end of the paw. But if you want to write more, that just means that the reader can understand a little bit more. What you need to remember is a capital letter for the first part and then a full stop at the very end. And what you're going to do is work your way through all of your words that you've decided to add in alphabetically and put them on a page. I think if you're just writing, if you're writing lots, you probably will fit three of them on. But if you're just writing a little bit to the side, you'll fit four or five. So good luck with that. <laughs>